Hi and welcome! This video is about how to start with Google Maps in Angular using the Google Maps JavaScript library. This is the result what we will have in the end. Before we start we must enable the Google Maps API in our Google Cloud project. Make sure you are logged in Google Cloud Console and you have a project selected. Then go to the navigation menu and you select APIs and services. And then here under library you have the search bar. And then you can search for maps. And then you have this here, Maps JavaScript API. So select that. And then in this menu, you must enable this API. So after that, you must create an API key. So go back to the navigation menu and APIs and services. And then in the submenu, credentials. And here you have a list of API keys and other credentials. You must create an API key. So go here, create credentials, and then select API key. And now Google has generated an API key for you. This is the one what you need. So just copy it and later you will use it. And now I am taking a quick look at the Maps JavaScript API guide. Here in the overview, there is a description on how to load the JavaScript library in your browser application. Just scroll down here. This section here. You can load the library by providing a script tag in your HTML file. Or you can load it dynamically with via JavaScript. Also there is a library loader available. You install a package and then you can use the loader. So using this loader is my choice for this video. Also there is a reference to using TypeScript. So here it tells us that we can install this node package in order to use TypeScript types. Also there are some more infos, like compiler options configuration or importing the module. So in my Angular project, the first thing I'm going to do is installing the Maps API loader. And after that I am installing the TypeScript types of Google Maps. And at last I am configuring the compiler options in the TypeScript app JSON file. I add the namespace Google Maps to the types array. And now I can start implementing Google Maps in my web page. At first I add a div with an ID. This ID here is important. Then I set the class of the div. In the style sheet I change the width and the height of this class. So I set the width to 100 viewport and the height is also 100 viewport height. With that the map will cover the whole page. Now I can go to the component class. At first I implement the onInit method. So here in the init method I start the API loader. And it is a new loader of this Google Maps package. And I provide some parameters. And here I can paste the API key. So with that loader I can say load. And then when the API has been loaded I can say then. And then provide a handler function. So within the handler function, I can finally create a new Google Map instance. I say new Google Maps map. At first I must provide a reference to the HTML element where the map should be displayed. For that I can say document get element by ID. And here I provide the ID of the div which I have just created. Map. And after that I can provide some map options. For the map options I can say the center of the camera. And I must provide latitude and longitude. And then I can provide a zoom factor. So let's save that and take a look at the result. And there you go guys. Now the Google Maps has been initialized. In the map options you can also set styles for the map. 
The map styles are very complex. For that you can visit a map style editor, this webpage here, mapstylewithgoogle.com. Here you can specify the details like roads, labels, and you can select a theme for your map, for example dark or retro. There are even more detailed settings, down here you have more options. And then for example you can change the watercolor here and fill and let's change it to to yellow and there you go once you are done customizing your map you can click on finish and then you can copy this array here and then you can assign that array to the styles attribute of the maps options So let's save that and take a look at the result. And there you go. Alright, thanks for watching and have a nice day.